Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to log in Darwin Box in mobile app. Alright, so let's begin with the video. Here's what you want to do. First, load up the Darwin Box app on your mobile device. Once it opens, you'll see two different options for logging into your account. The app provides flexibility by allowing you to either log in using a QR code or by manually entering your organization's URL. These two options make it extremely convenient for users to access their Darwin Box account quickly, no matter their current setup or location. Whether you're using the app for the first time or reinstalling it, the process is simple and user-friendly. To log in using the QR code method, tap on the Login with QR code button that appears on the initial screen. This method is especially helpful if your company has already provided you with a QR code to simplify access. Once you tap the option, your phone's camera will be activated, ready to scan the QR code. Now, to get the QR code, you need to access the Darwin Box web application on a computer or browser-based device. Sign in to your account through the web version and then go to the top right-hand corner of the screen where your profile icon is located. Click on your profile icon and from the drop-down menu, you'll find an option labeled Mobile QR Code. Click on that and a QR code specific to your account and organization will be generated. All you need to do now is open the camera on your phone through the Darwin Box app and point it at the QR code. The app will scan the code and automatically log you into your Darwin Box account. This method is fast, secure and avoids the need to type anything manually. It also minimizes any risk of login errors or forgotten passwords, making it perfect for employees who want quick access. If for some reason you don't have access to the web version to scan the QR code, or maybe you just prefer typing things in, Darwinbox also gives you the option to log in using your organization's URL. On the login screen of the app, choose the option that says Login with Organization URL. When you select it, the app will explain where you can find this URL typically. It's displayed on the top of your Darwinbox web dashboard and follows a specific format like yourcompany.darwinbox.com. Once you have your organization's URL, return to the mobile app and type it exactly as it appears. Make sure you don't make any typos or add extra spaces. When you're done, tap on the next button. The app will validate your entry and if the URL is correct, you'll be taken to your organization's custom login screen. Here, enter your registered email and password, then tap on sign in. The app will verify your credentials and log you into your Darwin Box account. This method is useful if you don't have access to the QR code or if you just prefer typing in your organization's information manually. Once you're signed in using either method, you'll have full access to everything the Darwin Box mobile app has to offer. This includes viewing and applying for leaves, checking attendance, managing tasks, viewing payroll details, accessing company-wide announcements, and much more. The app is designed to mirror the core features of the web version, but in a way that's optimized for mobile, giving you the power to manage your work-related actions while on the go. You'll also receive push notifications for things like approvals, deadlines, and internal messages, which ensures you stay updated without needing to open your laptop. If you ever run into any issues during the login process, Double check your internet connection, ensure the app is updated to the latest version from the App Store or Google Play, and confirm that your login details or organization URL are accurate. If you still face issues, reach out to your HR or IT department, they should be able to provide the QR code or verify your organization's URL. Whether you log in using the QR code or your organization's URL, both methods are secure, quick and easy to follow. You'll be inside your Darwin Box dashboard in just a few taps, ready to handle your work. So that's basically how you can log in Darwin Box in mobile app. So that's all for this video. Consider subscribing if you find it helpful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.